We are going to be talking about Phoenix Homes for Sale versus Marietta Homes for Sale. And today, I'm joined by my guests, Jessica and her husband, Chris, in Marietta. And I'm Phoenix real estate agent, John Cunningham with EXP Realty here in Phoenix. And I'm going to show you why Phoenix <laughs> is going to be your choice if you're battling between these two cities and wondering where to live. This is the city to live in. But I'm sure that Jessica and Chris are going to put up a good fight. Well, if you're planning a move to Arizona or a move to a city in California like Marietta, that's what we're here for. That's exactly why we're making this video is to give you some insight into what our two cities are like and to show you why we think each of our prospective cities might be a great option for you. In either event, these are fantastic places to live and we're really excited to present to you a little bit and by the way, if you've got more information that you're seeking out about either of these places, we've got lots of links below. So I know Chris and Jessica have, um, what is it you guys have? A, a guide of sorts? Yes, we have a relocation guide for okay. folks that are thinking about moving to Murrieta that we're happy to send to them. So I know Chris and Jessica have a relocation guide and there's a link to that below as well as all their contact information. And I've got a guy, I've got a, I've got a link to my moving kit and moving kit is designed to save you big bucks when you're moving to Phoenix. And if you use me and my team, you're going to be able to have new Apple products when you move into your home, hire people to help you with cleaning, painting and unboxing and things like that. And, or apply that money towards your closing costs. You decide how you want to use the money, but that moving kit link is down below. Now, Chris and Jessica, I just thought I would begin with you. Why don't you guys give us our viewers an overview of Murrieta? Okay, so Murrieta, we are located in the Southern California area. We are just north of San Diego County and we are just south, uh, slightly southeast of Orange County. So we're kind of sandwiched okay. in between the two. Um, we're a uh, pretty much a suburban city. It's a commuter town. It's, it's very family oriented, very high safety ranking, and um, very high school rankings as well. This is a great, quiet family town. Awesome. Awesome. Well, <clears throat> I bet that you probably have a favorite neighborhood or two. And before I ask you to, to talk about those, I'd like to just give our, our audience a little overview of Phoenix. So Phoenix is a giant metropolitan. There are roughly 30 cities and towns in our metropolitan. It's 100 miles from one corner to the other. A lot of people who live over there, they never go over here. So mm -hmm. once you've found your little area, your town, your city, your neighborhood, <clears throat> a lot of people never really go outside of that, not on a daily basis anyhow. But sometimes people will live in one town and commute, for example, to downtown Phoenix. But the city of Phoenix is where I reside and it's kind of at the center uh, of, of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And there's just so much to do here. We've got lots of uh, sports teams in the Di Arizona Diamondbacks, the Cardinals, we've got um, the Phoenix Suns, and we've got a Arizona State University in Tempe, which is just about 10, 10 miles from the center of downtown Phoenix. And um, I know Chris's favorite part about Phoenix. Uh, spring training. Spring training. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually, um, I have a, a blog post about spring training um, because we have 10 spring training fields here. And I have a goal this year to go to a game at every field. Oh, All right. Yeah, that'd be fun. I'm looking that forward to fun. it. Yeah. It's, uh, um, we should go to one together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, absolutely. You guys got to come down. Let's go. So there's a lot going on here. There's a lot to do. And we have uh, really good, um, we have real, really good transportation systems. We have a light rail, but I think the bright spot in our, in our, um, in our transportation system is our freeway system. I don't know if you've ever been to, uh, well, you're in California, so you've certainly driven through Orange County and LA freeways. You've done that, right? Oh, yes. Many, a lot of fun, right? <laughs> many hours or days. Yeah. 
for weeks. <laughs> I know it's, I used to live in California and that's in Orange County. And that's one of the things I don't miss. Um, a lot of great things about Cali, but here in Phoenix, our freeway system is really fantastic. You can get around from that one end of the, of the valley to the other very quickly. So I, I think we're second to none in, uh, as far as major metropolitans in terms of freeway systems. And our city has kind of grown up over the last few years. There's a lot to do here. There's a lot of uh, people who've opened up businesses and restaurants and entertainment things. And it's just a fun place to live. And it's a year-round outdoor environment. We don't shovel snow here. Um, I'm in shorts and a golf shirt today. <clears throat> That's very typical of uh, what I get to wear on a daily basis. And it's a, it's a casual environment. We're um, not like a Chicago or New York where you have to be buttoned up in a suit and tie all the time. Of course, there's times where it's appropriate. We do that. But this is, um, you know, a really relaxing place to live. And it's, there's a, there's, a, there's a lot to like about it. So with that being said, I thought it might be fun to talk about neighborhoods in our cities. And why don't you tell me about one that you especially like in Marietta? Okay. Um, yeah, we um, will tell you about where we live. Okay. <laughs> Which, uh, is on the west side of Marietta. It's called Copper Canyon. And um, we have lived, this is our third house here in Marietta. Um, so we've lived kind of all over town and we do love the west side in particular. Um, it, it's just a wonderful family neighborhood. Everybody, the houses are well maintained, large. The elementary school is very, very highly rated and has a great reputation. We are like a mile from Old Town Marietta with the shops and restaurants. We're very near to the freeway. Um, is there anything else to add? Um, proximity in Southern California. One thing in our pros and cons video, we could add a link. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello to our uh, pros and cons video. Um, we like to say we're an hour away from uh, most anything. So an hour to south to San Diego, an hour north to LA, hour to Big Bear for skiing, uh, Palm Springs. They're all hour, hour and a half. So mm -hmm. things like nice. that, uh, right in the middle of everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a big deal. That's it's a, a big deal. I mean, Disneyland, San Diego, Knott's Berry Farm, the zoo, both zoos, the Safari Park, the San Diego Zoo, um, you name it, you could get there in about an hour's time. It's a, it's a great location without having all the events and the congestion right here in town, but just a short drive away. How big is Marietta? How many it's people? About, uh, I think we're at like 113,000. Oh, that's a nice sized town. Yeah, it's a nice size, but it's been growing extremely, extremely rapidly. It is growing. Yeah, it's a well, fairly new city. I think it was incorporated in the 90s. So, oh, I uh, see. Oh, yeah, I grew up like an, a half hour south of here. I mean, there was there was nothing here. It's, Are there uh, certain like uh, major employers there that you can think of that bring a lot of jobs to the area? Yeah, so like the... The jobs I'm always asking people around here, you know, what do you do? There, there is not a ton of jobs around here. A lot of people work from home. They commute. Um, our bigger employers are going to be Abbott Laboratory, which um, a lot of people work there. The casinos, like Pachanga Resort and Casino, I think they've got about 4,000 employees. Um, but yeah, everybody, a lot of government jobs, military. Um, it yes, have, teachers, know, hospitals, a lot of people. food. Yes. Good. Yeah, is it, it's, it's a is wide it, variety, and a lot of people do have to commute, so that that is a negative if you are commuting. Yeah. Is there a lot of agriculture there? No. No, uh, not. Okay. Not, not uh, a whole lot. Well, you, you touched on a different <laughs> point. So we talked about things that are an hour away, San Diego and L.A., but here uh, the neighboring city is Temecula. So a lot of people are familiar with Temecula wine country here in Southern California. Yes. Uh, so mm -hmm. that's within 20 minutes, and there's dozens and dozens of wineries out there. Uh, resorts over, and 40, over 40 wineries. Wow. So you guys are within driving distance of a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. And the wineries, I mean, there is so much happening there. I mean, you could do something every day of the week, it seems like, if you wanted. Like, we're in the holidays right now, and they have, you know, a couple of them have ice skating rinks and, you know, Santa, lots of family activities as well. I gotta, I gotta see this place. We drive to California a lot because, you know, uh, Arizona people, we got to get out of this place in July. You know, you gotta, yeah. you have to, like, we leave here and it's 115 and we get there to, so, to San Diego and it's 72. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, so, let's talk about that too. Uh, yeah. That's, yeah one sure. our, that's one of our cons. Uh, you guys we, get a little warm there. We, we get, get hot, hot yeah. uh, for a couple months, but for okay. 10, 10 months out of the year, uh, quite temperate. But uh, we will we will cross the hundreds uh, a yeah. times a year and live in the 90s for uh, a good bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that or, sounds pretty good, though. You know, it sounds like phoenix scaled back you know like you don't get hit with like the heavy heavy snow or anything like that but you're not dealing with uh crazy heat in the summer like you're not hitting 115 or 20 very very often or that'd be weird right it's not phoenix heat i mean it gets into the 90s and people then there there's a lot of complaining <laughs> how about how about home prices what's that like over there yeah so the median single family home price um Every month we put out a market report. So this is from November. You can find that on our YouTube our YouTube page. It's called uh, Myriad. I'll put a link to that below. Yeah, great. We do a little snapshot. And so right now the single family home, uh, the median price rate is 482. And that's only detached single family homes. So okay. um, that will get you a nice, large, beautiful home in a great neighborhood. Um, a condo, like a three-bedroom condo, you're looking in the low threes, typically around like the 330000 price range. And if you want to keep your budget even lower than that, you can get a very nice two-bedroom condo in Murrieta in Southern California in like the mid to high twos. Um, you know, that's very nice community with the pool and the spa and the fitness center and, you know, all the amenities. So this is our number one pro. One of our number one favorable item for Maria is affordability for being nice, but it's down here in Southern California and uh, affordable, but nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's an anomaly mm -hmm. for Southern California, definitely. And that's why it's growing like crazy around here, Temecula, Marietta, because neighboring Orange County is the median home price is over 700000 40% of listings are over a million dollars. So the same house in Murrieta, you know, if you were to go to Orange County, you're talking two to three times the price of Murrieta. And it's not two to three times nicer by any stretch. It's just that we have more inventory out here. They, they're not getting very much more inventory, but we are still doing a lot of new construction building here. I have uh, <clears throat> one of my clients who lived in, in, in a part of San Diego last year he just sold his house over there in the high sevens and it was it was okay it's nothing yeah, special nothing zero lot lines really hardly any yard at all mm -hmm. two thousand square feet almost eight hundred thousand dollars for that house and isn't that amazing yeah yeah i don't i don't know hey you know that's why places like Marietta and phoenix mm -hmm. are thriving is because if you really think about it that kind of money for for a residence it doesn't even make it doesn't even make sense. I mean, they've got the, you've got the Pacific Ocean, and if you've got the money, I get it. But for a young family who's starting out that didn't get a bunch of money from mom and dad, that's insane money. Nobody has that kind of money. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. You know, when I lived there, I saw a lot of houses where you'd walk in and there was like very little furniture, um, yeah. You know, it just seemed like people were really stretched. A lot of houses were multi-generational, mm -hmm. more than one generation in the same house, yeah. just to afford it. When I was there, I was living with a couple of my brothers. We lived together there for a while. And <clears throat> so, yeah, I came back to Phoenix. Homes were a third of the price, and we're able to, you know, get, get our lives going. So this place has meant a lot to us. And my whole family's here. I've got four brothers, and one of them does live in Huntington Beach still, but everybody else is here. Mm -hmm. And my, uh, my parents are here. So this has been good for our family. And so median home prices in Phoenix are right around 265 for a single family mm -hmm. and right around um, 205 for a condo. Mm -hmm. Now, where, where I'm living at right now, our neighborhood, if you were to buy a single family home, you're going to be looking at homes priced very similar, similar to Murrieta. So as you move across the landscape here in Phoenix from neighborhood to neighborhood, it can be very different. So you can't really find a house in this neighborhood where I live for much less than 500. It's just not possible. But those houses are either um, new houses that have been um, put on land where somebody scraped the lot and built something new, or there's something that has been pretty nicely remodeled. 
So really between 450 to 650 is what you're going to see things for in this neighborhood that I live in. Okay. But there are many neighborhoods in Phoenix where you can find a home <clears throat> in our metropolitan for below 300,000, lots of homes. So right. that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is awesome. That is awesome. We, um, yeah, I, I kind of forgot to mention too. So as far as, so our median price is 482, but you can get a starter home in around the mid 300s in Murrieta, a little bit older, a little bit smaller. That's kind of where the single family home prices start. So um, we have just a couple more minutes. Why don't you tell me a little bit about another uh, area of town that you, you also like over there? You meant uh, Old Town, I think you said something about Old Town. Yeah, we're right near Old Town. And okay. the Murrieta Old Town is, is a really interesting area because, well, you know, so Murrieta borders on Temecula, which has an old town. And that a very well-established old town that a lot of people go to and it's very popular. Um, but our old town is not nearly as developed. So it's a little bit more maybe hodgepodge might, might be the word. So it's got a lot of potential. A lot yeah. of empty lots still, a lot of historical buildings that haven't been yet, you know, um, taken to their full potential. Um, so that's what our old town is like. Um, but, and then it's mixed in with the, the businesses that have come in, like some of our favorite restaurants are down there. We have a um, video of the top five restaurants in Old Town Maria. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, let's, let's link that also. And, you know, that's what, that's the great the great thing about a video like this is if you're out there watching this and you discover it, you're attracted to the idea of Murrieta. Mm -hmm. um, Chris and Jessica are going to provide me with lots of links that I'll put in the description below so you can check out their channel. I'd recommend you subscribe to it. And if you're thinking about Phoenix, this channel is really a great resource to you. So think of it like that. When you subscribe and hit the notification bell, we'll be able to let you know if you subscribe to our perspective channels when our videos are, are uploaded and the whole time that we're creating these videos, we're, what, we're, what we want to do is provide information so that you can make your best buying or selling decision when it comes to real estate in Arizona and in, in California. Mm -hmm. So um, before we leave, I just wanted to encourage you one more time to uh, click on the link for moving kit if you're coming to Arizona and check out all the links that Chris and Jessica have provided and feel free to reach out to us. We're um, very approachable. You can either leave a comment in the um, it below here on the video, or you can reach out to us by text or uh, phone call. We, we, we get these calls all the time and we love hearing from you guys. And if you've got a, an area of town in Marietta or in Phoenix that you'd like either of us to provide um, a neighborhood video for, we'd, we'd be happy to do that and uh, upload that to YouTube to share with everybody uh, in both of our audiences. So Chris, and Jessica, thank you for uh, being with us today and spending some time with us. <clears throat> I appreciate your, your, uh, your valuable insights. Yeah, thank you so much for inviting us on and telling us more about Phoenix. Um, we love visiting Phoenix. <clears throat> hey, thanks again, you guys. Welcome, Chris. Welcome, Jennifer. Jessica, I'm sorry. Did I, did I introduce her improperly the whole time? No, no, you had Jessica the first time. Okay. That's yeah. actually a funny joke because she's gotten that her whole life. Everybody, As, called everybody her always her. called me Jennifer. Never any other name. It's always Jennifer. <laughs> that, so, welcome, Jessica. That, that's welcome, that's Chris. That's the only one. <laughs> yeah, your, name, your name is Jessica. That's a good blooper.